there's a way that, that uh, President Trump could defeat the tech giants today with one signature. Uh, tell, us, tell us, please tell us, please, please tell us, because the president's listening. Yes, uh, it's called the Miller Act notice, and he's been sent a copy. The Miller Act is for people that do government contract work, and they haven't been paid. It's like uh, someone who works on a house or a plumber, but they haven't been paid. It kind of puts a lien on the house. This is the way that government contractors can be compensated. So McKibben's attorneys have actually filed the Miller Act notice to be paid by the federal government for the technology that they stole and gave to all the tech journals. If they did that, it would establish ownership, bypass the courts, and also make them liable for all of the licensing fees. And no, that's a great idea, and I've heard of that. Just the fact that big tech's working with China to suppress their population, I'm not an authoritarian guy. You ally with the worst authoritarians ever? I mean, I would, I would support the president arresting every one of these people. We have probable cause. We have overwhelming evidence. Arrest them. Seize everything. Like, like I saw seizures going on, you know, that Trump's sending people after some of these other corporations that have been involved in corruption. And the media goes, oh, my God, it's terrible. You know, Trump says it's corrupt, and they SWAT team them. No, that's what's going on. These people are out of control. Yeah! Let's go to Bob and then Michael. Bob in the great state of Texas. You're on the air. Thanks for holding. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. It is a pleasure to talk to you. I've been listening to you since 9-11. But the person you really should be talking to, his name is Michael McKibben. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. But, Michael uh, McKibben? Michael McKibben. He is the CEO of Leader Technologies. He's been fighting Facebook, Google, Apple, uh, all of those tech giants for almost... Slow, slow down real quick. CEO of what? He's the CEO of Leader Technologies. All right, we'll look into it. Excellent. He, uh, he's been fighting the tech giants uh, for almost 20 years or at 20 years because um, they hired a very, very good lawyer, and he was the uh, mentor of a certain person you probably know. Uh, her name was Hillary Clinton. Her mentor for being an attorney was a patent attorney. His name was James P. Turner III. He was also the guy who wrote all the intellectual property laws for the United States. He took their technology, which allowed scalable social media, and gave it to what's called the, uh, well, not only DARPA, but gave it to the IBM Eclipse Foundation. They gave it to Microsoft, Apple, Google. Sure, I know DARPA developed it in the 60s and 70s. That's known. InQtel, Geospatial Group, uh, NASA, all of it, yeah. Yes, yes, sir, yes. And uh, what happened was is that they took that and then spread it, and instead of using it as a tool to raise humanity, what you're always trying to get us to do. Well, sure, it was supposed to be a tool for communication, and it was supposed to be a tool to defeat the Soviet Union, but instead they're using it now as a tool of oppression. Absolutely, yes, sir. And and Michael McKibben, actually, he was one of the... Yeah, no, I've actually heard of Michael McKibben now that you said the name. We, we should... Can we still... Can you get Michael McKibben on? Uh, I can reach out to some people. Uh, I can reach out to Douglas Gabriel, who also used to work for NSA and, and has been and working doing research with him. Well, sure. Anybody comes on gets demonized because they want to shut down communication. But regardless, we we should. I mean, look, the, one of the main inventors of the Internet I was an Al Gore. He's come out at, at MIT and said we've got to stop this big tech takeover that is tyrannical as well. So the good news is the original people that built this now say it's evil. Absolutely. It, it is evil. It's, an, it's, it's for improvement. That's what they're using. There's actually... Well, psychological warfare, exactly. It, it makes you depressed. It controls you. Yes. Yes, sir. There's a way that, that uh, President Trump could defeat the tech giants today with one signature. T um, tell us. Please tell us. Please, Act? please tell us, because the president's listening. Yes. Uh, it's called the Miller Act notice, and he's been sent a copy. The Miller Act is for people that do government contract work. And they haven't been paid. It's like uh, someone who works on a house or a plumber, but they haven't been paid. It kind of puts a lien on the house. This is the way that government contractors can be compensated. So McKibben's attorneys have actually filed a Miller Act notice to be paid by the federal government for the technology that they stole and gave to all the tech journals. If they did that, it would establish ownership, bypass the courts, and also make them liable for all of the licensing fees. And no, that's a great idea, and I've heard of that. Just the fact that big tech's working with China to suppress their population, I'm not an authoritarian guy. You ally with the worst authoritarians ever? I mean, I would I would support the president arresting every one of these people. We have probable cause. We have overwhelming evidence. Arrest them. Seize everything. Like, like I saw seizures going on, you know, that Trump's sending people after some of these other corporations that have been involved in corruption. 
and the media goes, oh, my God, it's terrible. You know, Trump says it's corrupt, and they SWAT team him. But no, that's what's going on. These people are out of control. And so we need to move against them. God bless you, Bob. Put, put Bob on hold. Get, get, uh, Daria. And Daria's a great producer. She's producing three shows right now. She should get a helper. So I'm telling Daria on air, get another great hard-charging producer to hand these off to because this caller is absolutely on target with what he's saying. Okay, uh, let's talk to Dominic and then Michael. Ted Cruz signs being removed, social media banning Infowars. If you haven't seen it, there's a bunch of videos, but some of these out of Houston are like people becoming demon-possessed. We'll queue it up for the end of the segment. People won't believe it. Like, I hate Ted Cruz. And all this. I mean, these people are out of control. They've seen way too many Harry Potter movies. Uh, but, Dominic, what's on your mind, my friend? Uh, Alex, I uh, just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done. Um, I met you 22 years ago. Um, I was doing a Big Brothers, Big Sisters commercials at the Austin Access Television. And so I've always listened to you. Um, I just wanted to talk about all the signs that were being removed. And uh, I actually saw that happen in South Austin where they had a bunch of, of Beto signs removing Ted Cruz's and putting Beto signs up. Oh, yeah. These are authoritarians, man. They do not believe in speech. Uh, not at all. And uh, the interesting thing, it's a small minority, like you stated, I've seen all this come to pass, uh, you know, and like I said, I, I met you uh, so long ago, but I've always been a fan. Well, God bless I you. I remember, well, God bless you too. And, um, you know, I really wanted to, to just reach out to you and say, hey, you know, I'm really proud of everything you've done. And, you know, I've sent your links to everybody I know. There's 11 of us in my family, and uh, <laughs> we all listen to you, so. My dad was a World War II guy. He was a desert rat, and my brother served in Vietnam. And so we understand what you're doing, and we know that uh, it's easy for everyone to dispel what you're saying, but they can't back it up with any kind of substantial fact. And that's why they want to shut us down. And, the, and that you're doing that word of mouth with your great family and your and your your ancestors that were in the North African War and all of that is beautiful. And it's that power of you as the individual taking action that's defeating them. It's why they've turned loose these throngs, the people that act like they're demon-possessed. So their operating system is hatred of humanity. That's their uniform. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, uh, I worked with Chuck Undersey on uh, what was originally uh, Behold the Pale Horse uh, Now, you know, uh, uh, Revelations. Uh, and so... You know, all these people that, that we all run in the same circles, and it's because we understand the fight. We understand what we're, you know, standing up to. And they'll cheat, they'll lie, they'll do anything to create a false narrative to get everybody out of the way so they can move forward for their, with their That's what world. they're doing. They're selfish, horrible people. God bless you, Dominic. More straight ahead. Infowars.com, Newswars.com. Tomorrow's news today. They hope you don't spread those links. Free shipping storewide right now. It's about to end. Guaranteeing your food independence is a crucial part of prepping. Between debt crisis, natural disasters, or even simple power outages, having a supply of storable meals is crucial. With InfoWars Life Select Storable Food, you can make sure you and your family are ready for any emergency. With drinks, snacks, and meals in amounts ranging from 72 hours to a full year, there's no better place to look for healthy, easy, and incredible meals including meals such as traveler stew, homestyle potato soup, and a variety of other meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. InfoWars Life Select Storable Food will help you eat comfortably in a time of need. They even work great for camping. Simply pack a 72-hour kit to go and you have easy to cook and transport food for you and your loved one's trip. Don't be caught surprised by an emergency. Make sure you're stocked up today with all the food you need for an affordable price with InfoWars Life Select Storable Foods.